Okay, so the plan is to buy our tickets for Warcraft, go into the theater. Leroy It has begun. War is coming. If we do not unite, our world will perish. You might want to head home, big man. Well then, we better get going. We'll protect the kingdom. With this. What is up, everybody? Welcome to Initial Reaction. This week we saw Warcraft in IMAX 3D. What'd you think, Initial Reaction? It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was way better than I expected it to be. Yeah. Like, I have no idea what the game is about. <laughs> I have no, I had zero expectations walking in. You've had 14 years to do research. <laughs> nope. No, I it just, and when I saw the trailer, it looks like Lord of the Rings. Or it yeah. was something, you know, it was just orcs and elves and, you know, humans in some capacity but you know wearing armor and right and uh that kind of i just i was like yeah what is this like yeah. why would i be interested you think like what what is the if you're not into the game and you don't care about the fan service being paid what's the appeal to right. people like us that don't don't know anything about it or don't care necessarily and that was like the main concern that this was going to be purely for the fans and yeah. it wouldn't be able to connect with people who weren't familiar with the game or the source material yeah. and well, what I, I know the game's been around that, for a while. Yeah, with all of that is the the appeal is like the fantasy ex the, the fantasy aspect. Yep. Mhm. Mm <laughs> um <laughs> fill in the word. Um and you know to me that was like there's magic and there's you know all these creatures that you know, the words for the creatures we're familiar with right. because of Lord of the Rings and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, but for the most part, like, it was a lot of fun. And I could turn my brain off a little bit and be like, okay, this does jump around a lot. And it, like, right off the bat, it puts where they're going, jumping to yeah. on the map and land. Mm -hmm. And, like, all these names that we're supposed to know. Like, it's like right. Ice Tower Lund. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's exactly. Like, okay, great. All right, next. You know. And... That said, it's still very silly. Yeah. It's yeah. very like right. there are shots. Ben Foster, who I didn't realize was in the movie, is this uh, super guardian wizard. prophet guy. And there were some scenes with him, and it looked like something out of a cheesy 80s fantasy movie. Right. And it was just like, what, is, like what am I watching? Like the Crystal or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, what am I, you know, what is this? Yeah. But for what it was trying to be and what it was trying to do, it kind of accomplished that right way more entertainingly than I expected yeah. it to. And strong characters for, and strong delivery of those characters from everybody that was involved, even the from the king to the Aragorn ripoff. <laughs> the, yeah, no, uh, to, Travis Fimmel, I yeah. think is his name. He's in that Viking show. We kind of talked right. about that earlier. Um, but he sold it. Yeah. He was really, I mean, he looked like he was about to cry in every right. scene, but he... Well, a lot of emotional things happened to him. You know what? More emotional things happened than I expected to. Right. Um, and they stuck with some things I thought they might double back on. Right. Uh, which was surprising, but nicely. You know, it was a nice surprise that they, they stuck with some some story elements that I didn't see coming. Right. And uh, even though it does set it up for, you know, multiple sequels. Right. Uh, it was still... I don't know. It it did hit me in a way that I didn't expect it to. It was very entertaining in a way that I thought it might be really dumb, uh, but it was. Do you think it, it was lacking in any areas? I, the character development. There's so many characters. Right. There's so many characters. Uh, Paula Patton's character right. kind of turns into a lead. I didn't see that coming. Um, Toby Kebbell plays the leader of the orcs. Right. Um, and. You know, you kind of feel his plight, and then it's kind of uh, on the same path as a Fimmel's character. Right. I can't remember the names are ridiculous, no. and, and just that's, I that's, mean that's the and I have that problem with every movie like that I, with Lord of the Rings with uh, 
you know, Harry Potter, even sometimes mm-hmm. all the people's yeah. names and stuff. I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, and those are spread off, <laughs> spread over multiple movies that right. I still can't remember their names. Yeah, like all, you and, know, or Game of Thrones. There's like a new character. There's like 17 new characters every episode. I'm just like, oh, and the books are like that too. So it's just like. Um, I can't fault it for something that that genre does anyway. Right. But it's like, um, that was, if they're, you know, going into it, like I said, I didn't have any expectations really. Right. So this does benefit from me expecting nothing from it right. and, and being more entertained than, uh, than I, than I was ready yeah. to give it credit for. But, um, it was a lot of fun. The only guy I didn't like was the magic, the younger magic guy that was under oh, really? Ben Foster. And I like that guy as an actor. I've seen him in a few things. Goofy. And you reminded me, I don't remember if it was like Sorcerer's Apprentice or one of those <laughs> angels, the one where the angels are protecting instruments mm-hmm. or whatever. Uh, who I knows? can't even, I don't know. Anyway, even. uh, mortal instruments or whatever. Oh, I didn't even finish there's that. There's like one of those, so bad. there's like one of those movies where there's like, right. I expect them to have like a little fire tuck haircut cut me like carrying around a book like no you know we gotta protect this right and so that's the vibe i got from him so i like that you know i just wish <laughs> they would like because the story is actually kind of interesting right. in that like there's almost there's like not reverse avatar yeah well and it, you, <laughs> you get hints of avatar the with planet. there's so much cgi in this right um and you get hints of avatar you get um what is it I, I kind of expected Gods of Egypt from this, but I would watch this. No, I like the, the ten CGI times. was way oh. better in this. Oh yeah, but I was I'm yeah. saying like no, I meant level like, of silliness and like right. quality of story and how it was conveyed and everything. I right. expected it to be like Gods of Egypt, Gods of Egypt, but uh, or something along those lines. Yeah, right. just pure ridiculousness. And uh, but it was it was better than that. Um, yeah, I wish that like I was saying, the story was better than I expected it to be because there's not really bad guys, good guys, war. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. there was some, it was like bad, a good guys, good guys, different perspectives. Yeah. Um, how can we work together? And then there's kind of a theme of like legacy with the parallel right. uh, paths of the two lead right. characters and their children and how that might carry on into the future and everything, which was kind of interesting and, like I said, emotionally touching in right. certain scenes. And uh, you which know, was, this is a little bit spoiler to territory but mm-hmm. i won't tell like which characters but a few characters you know die and you never feel like you know there's going to be characters that die and stuff like this anyway right. or whatever and none of those deaths felt like the hero has to die or the bad guy has to die no none of this anything in this movie felt like that like forced it all felt like their deaths had purpose and stuff like that. You yeah, know I mean? like, it, yeah, very much so. Like, I didn't the story. Like they were was... just like, hey, we gotta pack all the story in. This guy's gotta die. This eight girl's gotta die. Blah blah. blah. It, it actually worked. Right. Yeah. Because at the end, I was like, well, this could have probably had a little more resolution right. to it. But they want another movie. Right. But they do want another. But what did happen did feel natural in a way. Right. You know, it, it was kind of nice and yeah. again unexpected. Yeah. But yeah. Um, no, I, I kind of wish with you know, the ideas this thing clearly has floating around that maybe they hadn't used these default characters of like orcs and uh, giants and stuff like that because it just feels like the only reason they're doing this is to relate to a certain audience. But again, I know the game's been around for a while. Yeah. You know, you're you're promoting this on well, you know, brand like, recognition and everything. But those are characters from the game. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like saying, don't make Assassin's Creed, but don't put assassins in it. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's a ridiculous complaint, yeah. but it was just one of yeah. those things when it started, I was like, why are we watching these creatures again? But in a different context, yeah. those, I don't know. But no, it was... You know, it's not it's not a great movie, really. Um, I didn't mind it. I don't know that I'd watch it over and over again. But I can give it another watch. Really? Yeah, but, I wouldn't watch it over and over again. No, but going yeah. in with, you know, not any history with the game and right. kind of what the trailers indicated it was going to be, yeah. I was pleasantly surprised so, by what I received. Initial reaction? Um, I go three stars. Really? Yeah, yeah. three out of five. Go. I was going to go three and a half. I yeah. really liked it. I nice. Mean, like, I mean, I would definitely say go watch it this weekend. You know, it's, this there week. are this, you know, like I was saying about the CGI, sometimes it looks really great and some of the details are insane. Well, we watched an IMAX 3D. So and everything. That's the way to watch it. Don't. And yeah. it is worth that. Other times <laughs> you can tell like the motion of the characters is a little awkward yeah. and weird still, but no, yeah, it's definitely worth seeing on the big screen yeah. for all the visual effects alone. Go see um, it. 
but yeah, it was way better than I expected. Cool. Cool. Thanks for checking out our channel. Initial reaction reviews, be sure to subscribe. You can read my written reviews at www.reviewsfromabed.com. Be sure to check back with us next week. We'll have a review of the biggest release. Thanks. See you next time. Warcraft rated PG-13.